Sushi rice, it's one of those things that can be a little tricky, but we are gonna walk through it, my friends. This is my guide to how to make sushi rice at home. So there are a few things with sushi rice. Um, one, like you kind of want your sushi rice to be really tender and cooked through, obviously, but it can't be gluggy. So that's one thing. Um, you do want it to hold its shape and its grain, but you don't want it to be like bitey and chalky. Um, so to get all of those things, plus like that beautiful kind of seasoned vinegar, sweet vinegar kind of flavor, there's a whole process. Uh, let's go through the process. Uh, this is the easiest way I've sort of found to get the best results at home. First off, you want to start off with a specific Japanese sushi rice. So Japanese sushi rice is a short grain rice. It looks like this, so it looks very different to say a jasmine or a long grain rice, typically labeled sushi rice in your supermarket. So go with that. Now, first step is we want to wash these rice grains really well, get rid of the excess starch. So head over to the sink. Okay, so get a whole bunch of water in here into your bowl and then just like shake, shake, shake and drain it out into a little colander if you've got one. And you kind of really just want to keep rinsing and draining. Kind of nice to get it back into the bowl because you can see just how milky the rice is. So by milky, I mean that starch that's coming off it. So fill it up again, swish, swish, swish. Technical rice washing sound, universal. Swish, swish, swish. <laughs> Surely. All right, see, it's still like milky. So again, I'm gonna rinse it off. Now, apparently I read on Google that um, sushi chefs might do this up to like nine, 10 times. So I don't think you can do it too much. So now if you have a look, you can see we're not really getting much milky stuff happening now. Like we're pretty, pretty good here I think I might just do one more for good luck all right that looks pretty good see almost kind of clear so once we've got our rice rinsed off I'm gonna pop it straight into a saucepan all right so one little trick here for getting like an extra little bit of flavor into our rice is to use some kombu and uh, this is dried seaweed you can buy in most Asian shops or search it out online just pop that in with your rice and now here comes the water rice ratio kind of thing. So I think I did lots of testing on different types of rice and I found that different brands of rice had needed different amounts of water. So I think you should go with whatever water instructions are given on your particular brand of rice that you're using. Mine says one cup rice, one and a half cups water. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now turn the heat on. Now you just want to wait until you see some little bubbling happening, so bring it to the boil, then turn your heat down really low, pop the lid on, and let that cook for 10 minutes. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes, and I can see here that most of that water's been absorbed by the rice. What I'm gonna do is turn the heat off, and I think this is a really crucial thing, to let the steam finish cooking the rice. So don't lift the lid, uh, don't have a peek in there, just let it sit 10 minutes and wait for the steam to finish cooking everything through gently. So I'm gonna put that aside over here. And in the meantime, let's cook our vinegar, our sugary vinegar that we need to season the rice. So first of all, I want some vinegar. This is just a rice vinegar, a Japanese rice vinegar. I feel like it has like a little bit of sweetness as well as the vinegar kind of tang. So if you can get the Japanese uh, rice vinegar, that would be best, I think. I need some sugar as well here. And we're gonna need a little pinch of salt as well. Now you just need to heat this until the sugar and the salt, everything dissolves. And then we'll come back and we will put our sushi rice together. All right, moment of truth. We've had our rice just sitting there, steaming away, covered up for 10 minutes. I'm gonna open it up, let's have a look. Okay, so let's have a look in here. You can see our rice grains look really nice and shiny and plump and lovely. I'm gonna take this seaweed out. Seaweed's done its job. So, go away. So I'm just gonna fluff these rice grains up a little bit. Um, I'm using a paddle that just came with like my rice cooker actually. Typically the rice cooker ones are pretty good, these plastic ones, um, but obviously you can use like a more traditional wooden kind of paddle. Uh, you could also use a fork 
as well, just to fluff things up a little bit. This is looking pretty good. I like the texture here. I can see it's not too sticky. Okay, so now I'm gonna just get my rice out into a wide, shallow dish. You can do this on a tray as well if you like. Spread that rice out. So now we wanna drizzle over some of that sugary vinegar we made earlier. You want to be doing all of this while the rice is still warm uh, because the rice, the warm rice will soak up um, some of that vinegar sugary goodness which is what we want and I'm just going to kind of cut and mix and stir that rice so each little grain gets a nice little bit of loving flavour from that little mix that we put in there. All right, so this is our finished rice. It's shiny, it looks slightly sticky, but really what I wanna know is what that rice grain texture is like and the flavor. So I'm just gonna get in here and try a little mouthful. Mm, that is so perfect. So the perfect sushi grain is just soft, but but individual so none of these grains are crushed or too sticky and everything is just tender just that little slick of kind of stickiness on the outside mm. it's, i'm surprised it, it's surprising how much the rice so the warm rice soaks up the vinegar and the sugar mixture like you think it's too much when you first start but as you mix it just sort of all soaks up and it's all shiny and sticky and amazing mm. now a couple of tips here right do not put this in the fridge so you need to make your sushi rice and then pretty much make your sushi um, same day or within a few hours. If you want to store this for a little bit later on, just get a wet tea towel and pop that on the top and just leave it at room temperature. So that's the best way. If you put it into the fridge, things get hard and clumpy and then when you try and redo them, like reheat it, it gets all broken up and sticky. It's not a good time. So <laughs> make your sushi. Now, I have a really great video on how to make um, dragon sushi. <laughs> a dragon sushi. <laughs> really fun uh, so make sure you check that one out and um, yeah have fun sushiing everyone hey friends I hope you enjoyed that one if you did why not hit the like button and even better I would love so much if you would subscribe and even hit that little bell button so you get notified every time I release a new delicious video thanks guys